Hey how's it going guys welcome back to the 16th video in this series mad about python and in this video we'll be seeing how you can add images to your root widget or use images or pictures in tkinter and uh, this is an example of a login page here you can see this fox as the image and you have two entry forms and you have a button go so in this we will learn how you can add images to your tkinter widget now before using any images or pictures in tkinter there's a library you have to add it's called as pillow and the uh, name for this library is now pill p i l so you can head over to their library like this and here you can see the command to install as you can see pip install pillow once you are done with this installation then only you can use the library now to install the pillow library you just have to head over to your terminal here in vs code and just type the keyword pip install pip install pillow p i l l o since i have installed this already it is going to show me requirement already satisfied otherwise it will install the pill library or the pillow library in uh, your vs code now to use this you simply go uh, from pil pillow uh, library import image and you will need image tk so image tk that's it now your library is imported and you can use pictures so you have to make sure that the pictures you are going to use are in your same python directory when you created this program so you can see here my directory is dot vs code in the previous videos i have explained how the directory works and here you can see i am going to use poster1 and poster2 which are of the format jpg file so i'll be using these two pictures to give you an example how you can import pictures or images to your tkinter great so after you have done that first five lines remains the same again and you go from here mm, let's give it image only you need a variable for that so we'll give image so image equals image tk and then this will be of type photo image so photo image is the keyword you can use so image tk dot photo image and then inside that you need image and uh, you want to open this image which was uh, given in the directory i showed you that was poster1 and poster2 i can go open and i can name this file here so that was poster1.jpg let me just show you that again you can see here it's poster1.jpg okay so here you will have your file name inside this and that is it then you go ahead and make a label for this so label equals your label you want this inside your root and now this label will be used to display the image in our case that is the poster one so your variable is nothing but image so root image small i equals let's just name this something else because it it will be confusing if you name this as the keyword so i'll just give us img1 and image variable img1 will come here inside your label so img1 and as usual we'll just pack this now so label your label dot pack and uh, let's just make another quick uh, button which will be used to quit the function so i'll give button name it something like quit and this will be your type button inside your root text let's just give this exit program once your image is displayed we'll just exit and uh, your command will be nothing but once you're using command you have to give some name to the command we'll give quit if 
file and then you have to pack this button so button quit dot pack and since you have given the command name quit file you have to define it here as a, as a function so quit file and then you define this as oh sorry I have to define as def quit file and here you can give uh, exit so you you want to exit root dot quit yeah so let's just go ahead and run this program okay so this shows an error no such file or directory found so the problem here was uh, I have created a file known as YouTube teaching so these two poster files were not available inside that now what I have done is taken these two files and I have pasted inside the same directory so that was my mistake that I didn't uh, keep them in the same directory so in case you're facing this kind of error no file found you can just simply check your directory where you have stored all the programs like your ICO file you can see here that should contain your posters also like uh, the images you are going to use so we'll just run this again and see okay so as you can see this program works I have not given any title here but as you can see the poster uh, my favorite movie <laughs> The Wolf of Wall Street and you can see that the image works and when I click exit image the program will get destroyed and let's go ahead and add some title photo viewer and we'll just run this again yep now uh, you can see that it shows photo viewer here and you have your poster exit now let's just test this with my second image which will be poster 2 and uh, that is a big image so let's just see how our tkinter handles that and you can see it handles it pretty well now this will be a full frame you can see photo viewer and yeah since I'm using pack this thing is gonna pack it completely in the program but you can go for grids to position this poster well okay so this works yep and uh, this was the packing that's why the poster took the whole window you can go ahead and use grid mechanism to position them better great so that was all for this video now and i'll see you in the next one